It's September the 5th, 2011, and this is my uh, kitchen project I'm working on right now. <laughs> I'll duck around areas of the house, meaning like don't show them because my house is really a mess right now. This is my man cave right now. Anyway, um, I got the, here's my extension cord going over to my old kitchen. And uh, I bought this old, uh, thing here so that I could uh, be able to have a little bit more storage. This kitchen's got like no storage. Ignore those uh, drink bottles up there. Anyway, <laughs> no comments on that crap, okay? <laughs> That's my messy kitchen. One of the biggest pains I have is that right there. No dishwasher. And then I got this little shallow sink. Seven inch deep sink. Could you imagine a guy dealing with a? Could you imagine a guy dealing with a seven-inch deep sink? Okay, um, out there, I don't know. It's my uh, deer blind. I'm setting up. Uh, that's a corn line. That's not my property. And then off to the left over there in the back, you can't see behind the trees. I got uh, a couple apple trees. And then off to the right, a couple apple trees. And then I got pear tree up front. Should do okay. We'll see. Maybe the deer will come out. Anyway, I uh, might have to splice out that section of my face. <laughs> Sorry. So I bought the sink from Home Depot. This is Glacier Bay. And uh, it's got this nice faucet thingy here. And uh, that costs like 189 or something like that. Wasn't that bad? I mean, it might sound like a lot for a sink, but it came with everything. Stainless steel. And then I bought this uh, insincorator. It's the, they call it their compact model. Uh, it's okay, seems like it's okay. I mean, there was really cheaper end ones, like 99 to 79 or down to 50, no, 79. And then uh, the 219 down to uh, 189. And I got the one right in the middle. Uh, so, that plumbing up there. This is the bottom of that glacier bay faucet setup. Now one of the things that I don't like about these uh, kitchen sinks, let's see if I can see that, is that uh, screw thing right there. Because you know while you're putting it in you're thinking well that's going to be really cool. Uh, and you'll notice I only put uh, one in there anyway because uh, this is like a, my temporary setup. So this thing uh, starts bending in and then the screwdriver goes in there so I, man I need to have a bitch of a time turning that thing when it gets cl closer to the sink wall. Somebody should change that. You know, I don't think that would be a hard design to change, but it would cost a little bit of money, and people don't like to spend money. Anyway, um, so let's see. I had to go to Home Depot like four or five times, and fortunately there was a very helpful guy that works on plumbing stuff there in the plumbing area. And uh, the drain, I had a hardest time figuring out, I swear. But uh, this bit right here didn't come with the sink. Uh, this T didn't come with the sink, and, and they don't. This is standard stuff. I'm not picking on Glacier Bay. This J pipe, uh, P trap, it's called, didn't come with the sink. And this stuff, this is all poly. Now, up under the floor, I ran uh, two inch uh, PVC, and then there's a reducer here. I tried to optimize everything so that when I do uh, bring the cabinets in, which I don't have the money for the cabinets right now, but this gets me going modularly. Anyway, so you got this uh, PVC to uh, compression fitting here. You got a T right there. You got this little bit and then this is called a Studer valve up there. That Studer valve, so you can get a better shot of that thing. It has like a rubber um, diaphragm in it and it uh, just kind of uh, keeps gases in or out. I don't know, one or the other. I blew into both ends of it. Can't figure it out, but they said I had to have it. So all that stuff from here uh, to here down below the floor. Won't bore you with all that. I had to put in. And uh, that's where I am right now. There's the copper coming up through the floor. Uh, <laughs> I flagged that one with uh, red for hot. Now, again, I, this is just for fun, so I don't want a bunch of people spamming me saying, hey man, you know, you really should have put the hot on the right or something like that because I don't want any crap about that stuff. I'm not a professional, but it works. Uh, these stanchions here, I take welded those yesterday. Uh, with my uh, Miller TIG welder, actually, I've got a little, uh, a nice Miller TIG welder. It's a little one. 
runs on 220. It's not mounted in there yet, but uh, so I made two of those things up just to have something kind of fun. And uh, that's where I am right now. Uh, kitchen's coming along pretty fun. Pretty fine. Bye.